Choo Choo. The voice from above speaks. Hold your form stones in your hands. Keep your arms close to your sides and bend your elbows at a right angle. Your thumbs must be on top. The voice saw that the people were unready and had them brace themselves for anything. This is the origin of Choo Choo, a form to survive an absurd endeavor. Night. The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold with your hands stacked atop one another. Your dominant hand should be on top. The voice saw its people were defenseless, so it gave them a sword. After a few mishaps, it also gave them this form, so they knew not to hold the pointy end. Sky Stretch. The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold, then raise both hands high above your head, as if dangling from monkey bars. When the voice awoke and performed the sky stretch, its arms reached up through the clouds. Everyone on the island could see them for miles, blocking out a beautiful sunrise. Massage. The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold with both hands held straight out in front of you. Your palms should be facing down. The voice used this form to care for those who built its temple. The worker's exhaustion was magically lifted. As a result, the voice could work them even harder and the job was done in three days. Big Cheese. The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold with the palms of your hands to your hips, thumbs forward. Then puff out your chest. This was a form initially reserved for royals. One day, a king did the big cheese in public. It spread quickly amongst the people, and as such, they're all a little cheesy. Trust Tether Sign. When this glyph appears, be ready to drop your form stone. Ensure the strap is attached and muster the courage to let go. But be sure you see the glyph first. If the voice has not revealed one, then never drop your form stone. Lifter. The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold with both arms held vertically in front of you. Your palms should face your head. This form captures the strength of a mighty warrior. The voice had intended for the barbells to be a loner, but they worked so well that it was too intimidated to ask for them back. Gift Giver. The voice from above speaks. Open both hands, then place your form stones in them. The rocks are cute in the hand, like small pets. But remember this, you too are like a small pet to the voice. The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold with your dominant hand at your nose and the other at your rear. Your thumbs must be at your nose and rear, with the form stones parallel to the ground. <laughs> Feathers looking sleek and wind blowing back my comb. Plucking round the island, cause that's all I've ever known. Yeah.
scales. The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold with both arms outstretched to the sides. Your thumbs must be on top. The tilt of your body reflects the imbalance in your heart. In order to master the scales form, one must empty one's pockets. The smallest piece of lint can lead to disaster. Tug of War. The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold with both hands in a straight line in front of your navel. Your dominant hand must be in front. One, two, three, pull. The voice taught that everyone must pull their weight. Failure to do so would be over the line. Fashionista. The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold with your dominant hand over your shoulder, thumb facing down. The other hand's palm is at your waist. Its thumb should face forward. This form is very popular and flattering. The voice was not immune to its charms and would often show off this form from several angles, asking which was its good side. At attention. The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold with both arms held straight down. Do not underestimate the simpler forms. Your mind and body must always be ready, for at any moment, you may be called upon to accomplish the inexplicable. Hand Model. The voice from above speaks. Let go of the left form stone. Hold the right form stone in your left hand. Capture your right hand in the gesture window. The form stone strap should be on the bottom. Feeling useless and adrift, the left form stone stood awkwardly by. Eventually, the island winds carried it off. Squat. The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold with your palms at your thighs. Spread your legs and lower your hips. Keep your hands on your thighs without letting go. Once, when the voice was angered, it held this form for three full days. In doing so, the voice's wrath subsided. What was left behind is the origin of the phrase, mountain pass. Crocodile. The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold with palms together and arms held straight out. Your dominant hand should be on top. Your hands should rest lightly atop each other. We do this out of solidarity with the island crocodiles, which have unusually weak jaws. Archer. The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold with your dominant hand's palm on your chest. Hold the other arm straight out. Turn your chest to the side as if you're drawing a bowstring. Father, the hunt went so well today. Yes, it's lucky for us that we've practiced the archer form. Parent and child return to their home as the skies above practiced sunset form. Love struck. 
The voice from above speaks. Perform a grip hold with your palms at your cheeks. Pull in your arms with thumbs facing upwards. Keep your hands at your cheeks and don't let them slip. The voice fell deeply in love, resulting in the dawn of this form. It turned out to be more of a short-lived crush, but the name stuck. Pounce. The voice from above speaks. Place the form stones on a flat surface. You don't need to crouch. The front side should face up. Do not remove the straps. See the form stones enjoying a respite from human hands. Little do they know that the silent calm is about to be broken by the people's revels. Button sign. When this glyph appears, press buttons on your form stone. The form stone has many buttons. Which of them should you press? Only your heart can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs>